Yeah, especially, you just don't want to see any chance of rain on race day, mm -hmm. you know, because it's going to postpone something at some point. And we want to keep everyone safe at the Speedway as well, especially when there's a chance of some stronger storms possible. So I'm going to break down this whole system from what's going on right now to how this is going to play out over the next 48 to 72 hours. We'll put this into motion. This is our current surface map. So this is basically showing us where these fronts are, where this area of high pressure is back to our west this morning. That's why today is going to be a relatively quiet day. We had that warm front lift through yesterday evening. It did prompt that round of storms uh, in the evening hours yesterday that has since moved on this boundary now moving through. That could spark a very stray shower, not expecting thunderstorms this morning, but a quick little spot of rain possible that will then move out. Area of high pressure will then clear everything out this afternoon. That will allow temperatures to recover back to near 80 as we do see a decent amount of sunshine developing later today. In fact, already out at the airport and at the motor speedway, the sky has cleared back out. We do have some areas of fog, so do want you to be prepared for that. Temperature currently sitting at 61. Over the next few hours, we will see a nice warming trend today. So as we fast forward, if you are headed downtown during the 11 o'clock hour for that uh, kickoff to the parade that will get underway at noon today, we are looking at a mix of sun and clouds and temperatures that will recover back to the 70s between noon and two o'clock today. Eventually we're going to be headed to 84 high. We'll play this out on future track again. Notice that stray shower chance possible clears back out. Could see some pop up storms developing over in Ohio. We'll be watching East Central Indiana, but I believe that's going to stay clear of the state, especially here around the Indy Metro. There's your 80 degree high temperature by five o'clock today and then on into the evening tonight. We're going to keep it clear and quiet as temperatures drop back out of the 60s. Now we're talking about tomorrow. This is when the pattern becomes more active as another storm complex moves in. Does look like it's going to bring multiple rounds of showers and storms. Both of them could potentially reach severe limits, so we do want you to be aware of this. First round looks like it's going to arrive in the mid to late morning. Will potentially stick around through the early afternoon. Then we see a lull and then round two will arrive closer to about 8 o'clock in the evening. Storm Prediction Center is watching a good portion of central and southern Indiana. That's now a level three of five where this orange highlight is, meaning we could potentially see pretty scattered strong to severe storms with these complexes moving in. We'll pick future track up at around seven o'clock in the morning, so just after the gates open at the Motor Speedway. So we're going to be pretty quiet and we've got several dry hours in the morning. This is around 10 o'clock. This first wave set to move in looks like just after when that green flag is supposed to fly. So this is around 1 1 30 in the afternoon. This first wave moves through will then exit we see this window of opportunity here developing shortly after that, so we're looking at approximately 2 to 3 p.m. Lots of dry time before this second round of storms moves in closer to 8 o'clock in the evening, and then it will be a bit of an unsettled setup here. This will take us through 11 o'clock at night. Storms will eventually clear the area closer to about 2 o'clock in the morning, and then it looks like a pretty dry setup for our Memorial Day. Pretty quiet as well as we go through the first part of next week. So we'll keep you updated here as we get you in through. Through wait race a weekend also updated with that storm potential through the morning.